and I have a really fun kind of a surprise project to do plus a bunch of things that I have already done to show you. So it should be really fun as you are hopping on, say hello, let me know where you're watching from, don't forget to sprinkle, all that normal good stuff. Okay, so we're going to be working with this. Um, let me take it out of the plastic bag because the glare makes it hard to see. These are flower sack towels. They're that tea, that um, real thin kind of a towel that are great for drying dishes. Okay, I ordered these on Amazon. We're gonna be doing a couple of fun things with these. Um, and if, at the very end, if you want any of my info, just let me know. And we're gonna be using this stencil. Be the reason someone smiles today. You guys, this is from the June 2023 Craft Club Project. It's an exclusive stencil and it's super adorable to Craft Club, you cannot purchase it. So it's a really good reason to consider joining Craft Club because every month you get something fun and different, a whole project, and this is what it happens to be this month. And I used that, I used the Craft Club, everything that came in the box, to make this cute tote bag. I did that a couple days ago. I did red and blue and then I just kind of this is ink, and this is a tote bag that you can get from MagnoliaDIY.com, and it also came in the kit. So I did that one. Where should I put this? And then I also did this one, where I stenciled it in black ink, and then I painted in with some colored inks that I turned almost into watercolors, and we're going to do something very similar to that today. Also, before I came live yesterday, I was having fun playing, and I used this stencil, I've used it quite a bit, to make this tea towel using the magnolia green and the turquoise colored ink. And I used the blue and red. Same technique as the bag to make this. Um, so these tea towels that we're working with are the kind of tea towels that you actually use. They're, they're not super thick. They don't look fabulous hanging over your oven door. But you know, when you're drying dishes, it's just a little bit more fun if you have a cute uh, dish towel to use, right? That's how I feel. Um, okay, so the inspiration for our project today was this. And this was a tote bag that I made, gosh, 10 months ago for my Bible study. I used it all year long. And um, this is the inspiration for what we're doing. This is a Magnolia tote bag. They're really nice. Um, and I did this ombre technique on it, which we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how to do it. And then I used white ink to stencil. This one says, um, the word, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Anyways, I, will, I may still use that again next year, but that's the inspiration. And this is where we're going. <laughs> we'll finish this off. So let me show you how to do it. Um, if you are just hopping on, I have a really fun project to show you. And here's what I was thinking this morning. I was thinking I wish I had some flower sack tea towels that were a different color other than white. I don't see those very often. And then I was remembering my bag, and I thought, well, let's let's make some. And if we're gonna do that, let's make it with the ombre look, which is where it graduates from one color down to another. Okay, so I'm just opening this tea towel. It's not pressed, that does not matter. And you guys, um, if you want the link to look at these on Amazon, here's what I have to say. These are flower sack tea towels, which means they're really thin and they're kind of wonky. <laughs> they're not perfectly straight like some of the nicer tea towels, but I like to dry dishes and do stuff like that with these. Okay, and I'm gonna put some parchment paper underneath it. I did not wash this beforehand, but you certainly could if you want. And I'm going to show you how I came up with my little concoction. Um, also, I encourage you to protect your work surface and whatever clothing you might be wearing because this does kind of splatter. 
Okay, and I was thinking that it would be fun to do this, this one just a little bit different than the one that we're going to work with in just a minute. Oh, and I forgot. I want to put it on this, um, this is a cardboard cake board. I want to do it on this so I can carry it outside to my yard when I'm finished with it. And um, we'll just make it easier. Okay. So for this one, I am going to tape off an area that's about the size of the stencil. And we're going to do our ombre technique inside of this square. And some of it will bleed, which looks really cool. I did some bags some tote bags with this idea with tape um, a month or so ago, and I gave those away. But they turned out super cute, super, super cute. So I'm just going to roughly guess where to put this. It's not perfect. You guys are going to see how cool this is. Oh, my goodness. And this is got my creative juices flowing. And I'm thinking uh, the next one I do, I want it to be like a bright pink ombre with orange. Wouldn't that be pretty? Okay, I messed that piece of tape up. tell you a little bit about craft club while I am taping. Um, it's $22.95. It's, it's like a subscription thing. Every month you get a new project with instructions. You'll get a new stencil that you can use over and over and over. You'll get a surface. Like it can be all different kinds of things. This month it was um, the tote bag. And then um, you get a new squeegee. You get whatever the medium is, depending on the project, whether it's chalk paste or ink. And um, you get whatever doodads go with the project. So it's a complete project in a box. And they switch it up. Oh my gosh. We, I'm looking at my basket of projects over there, which I'll do a live at some point to show you guys. I mean, it's such a good deal. Uh, anyways, it's, I love Craft Club. Um, so they ask you to stay for at least three months. So it's a three month commitment. And then after that, if you hate it, you can certainly leave, but I don't think you will. And if you accidentally or on purpose left Craft Club, uh, maybe your credit card number changed or the expiration changed or something like that and you didn't get that updated, you can rejoin. Um, so at the very end, I'll get links. Okay, so what I did to get started is that I took some of this berry blue ink. This is the same stuff I used for my bag. It's an awesome color. And I put, I put a spoon of it in this plastic, in this paper bowl, and I added just some water from the sink, okay? And stirred it up. And this is gonna be the darkest color, and then we're gonna use some of this to dilute even further to make our lighter color, because we're gonna have two different colors. So let me stir this up. I'm add more if I need to. All right, and I had, I made some mistakes when I was making this tea towel, and I got drips all over, which are not good. So I'm not going to do that again. Maybe just take this down so I don't have that issue. So any ink, inks are for fabric. And once they get heat set, and I'll tell you all about that, they're permanent. So you can make t-shirts tea towels, tote bags, pillows, uh, um, sneakers, jeans. I want to remember to show you the jeans. Um, I'll just put 
one here so I don't forget. Um, you can make all kinds of things and they are washable. Washable and dryable and wearable. Um, you can't turn chalk paste into something that's going to be permanent enough to work for that. You just can't. It's, it's not possible. So with what you would need for this kind of a project is ink. And I have people ask me all the time if they could just use acrylic paint. Well, you can try it if you want. But when I've done that, what happens is it dries really crunchy. And if you bend the fabric, it kind of cracks. It's crunchy, scratchy. Um, it would not be comfortable <laughs> for a pillow that you're going to lean against or a tea towel that you're going to want to be using with your hands, or a t-shirt. Uh, so, what you need for that is ink. And Magnolia has a whole bunch of different colors of ink. They last a really long time. Okay, so I'm going to start at the bottom. And I'm using a credit paintbrush. Ooh, and I need to be careful. I almost went outside of my tape. Although this will bleed a little bit and that will be fine. Okay, Maggie, I think it would be smart if you put some more tape over here. This would work better with, um, you know, painter's tape, but I didn't have any handy, so I'm just using what I had. This is going to soak into the fabric. And I found with the one that I'm going to show you in a minute that the quickest way to get it to dry was to just throw it out in the yard in the grass. And it was dry in like 30 minutes, where if I had left it inside, it would probably still be wet now, because it's going to be pretty, pretty wet. All right, let's see if this has got any color to it, because I'm just going from darker to lighter. Oh yeah, it does. I'm going to scooch this way so you can see better. that I've got it mixed up in. It's going to be completely fine. It'll come right out. So I could go even lighter, but I think this is about as light as what I would want it to do. So let's just go all the way up to the top with this lighter. We're doing this first, then I'll set it aside, and then I'll show you these other projects and ideas that you could do with this stencil. And um, I'm just bringing some of the darker color up a little bit now. And, I don't want to get splatters all over, but I suppose if I get a few, it does not matter. Okay, and this is what we have. So, I'm going to let that sit until I can get it outside. I'm going to move these... Um, this paint stuff and get the ink off my desk and then we'll we'll move on and I'll show you these jeans. They are super cute. I'm gonna hang on to that leftover um, blue that I used to dilute to make this watercolorish kind of thing. I'll put it in a um, spaghetti jar, spaghetti sauce jar or something, and then I'll be able to use it again. And that was only like one spoon 
of the blue, the very blue ink. So it does not take much at all. Okay. All right. Let me just get organized here. Okay, so this was what we just did. Where am I? Here we go. And I will get pictures to show you how it looks after it sits out in the yard and does some drying. And um, yeah, okay, so that same stencil, this thing, from the exclusive stencil to June 2023 Craft Club. You can only get this by being a Craft Club member. And if you sign up anytime during the month of June, you will get the June kit. And then in July, you'll get the July kit. Anyways, it has the most adorable flowers and butterflies. Oh, I just love how whimsical these are. And in the past, I have taken a stencil and done it on the cuff of my jeans. And then I, I used, I watered down some inks and I painted it. You have to heat set it before you move on to the next step. This is black ink, then it's heat set, and then it's basically painted on with different colors of ink that are diluted with water. And then when that's dry, the whole thing is heat set. And these are jeans that I made a while ago, over a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. And I have worn and washed and worn and washed and worn and washed these forever. So it looks really cute if you have a pair of jeans that have a cuff to do something like that. I don't have another pair of jeans that I could do today that have a cuff, so I'm just using what I have. And these are an old pair of jeans that they're American Eagle brand. And I just took a little piece of cardboard, put it in the pocket, and then I stenciled with white ink one of those cute little flowers right there. I could also do some cute little flowers on the back pockets, or I could do some cute little flowers down the side of the leg or at the cuff. And all you need for that is your stencil and some white ink and a squeegee. You could do silver, you could do rose gold, um, you could do absolutely whatever color, but I love the blue and white combination. And so I just wanted to show you this idea. I mean, there's so many things you can do with this stencil that comes this month. Pretty cute, huh? Okay. So let's talk about heat setting before we move on to the next step. To heat set, when this was dry, Look how cute it is. Oh my gosh. I'm going to do, I'm going to do lots more of this. And it's soft, you guys. Because it's ink, it's not paint. It's soft. Anyway, when it was fully dry, I brought it in my craft room and I put it, I put my iron on cotton, no steam. And I put a parchment paper in between my iron and the um, fabric that had the ink on it. And I just did this on the front and the back for three or four minutes, just moving up and down and up and down. Okay, you have to do that before you move on to the next step. Because when I do the next step, I do not want the white ink that we're going to use to blend into this blue. But look how cute it is. I started out really dark, and then it got lighter. And I was kind of bumming initially about where the wrinkles were, because this tea towel, you know, it hadn't been washed or anything. But now that I'm looking at it and where it bled more, I love that. It looks almost tie-dyed. I used three different levels of color dilution. Is the ink the same as ink in a pen? No, this is that this is permanent. This is permanent fabric ink. It looks like this. It's um, it's like a paste. It's nothing like what you have in a pen. Oh, but it is the same stuff as the ink that comes in the pens 
from Magnolia. Yes, it's the same stuff as that, but a regular pin, no. And um, this is not the same thing as top paste either. The inks, the permanent fabric inks from Magnolia have a white lid. And like I said, they have a ton of different colors. Okay, so I heat set it. And now I'm super excited to move on to the next step, which is going to be to add this adorable stencil. And here's, when, remember when I told you at the beginning of the video that these tea towels are thin and they're wonky? This one is not square at all. But I'm gonna use it to wash dishes. Well, to dry dishes and pots and pans and stuff like that. So it's not gonna be folded over the, the oven door and a display piece. This is gonna be an actual use. Um, okay, and I'm gonna put a piece of parchment paper underneath it. Just, I don't know if this ink will go through it. It probably will. And let's find the center, how I usually do that. See, look how not square this is. You see that? Oh well. I'm just going to pinch. I folded it in half and I'm pinching where the center is. So it's right there. Although I don't think it is super important that I get it exactly centered because this towel itself is very wonky. Okay, and then I'm just going to take this, which like I said, you guys, look how good, how good it looks. I have used it with many different inks and washed it. Um, it has a few little spots where it's got a little bit of staining, but um, these stencils are so awesome. So let's just guess what's going to be straight, and I'm going to really get it pushed down. And then here's the secret to using ink on fabric. Uh, put on the minimum amount of ink. This is permanent fabric ink. Put on the minimum amount and go over it as few times as possible to make sure that everything is covered. You don't want to go over and over and over and over it because what you're doing is you're pushing it under the, the little mesh holes, the screen, in the stencil and then the fabric sucks it in and spreads it out. Connie says she loves the tie-dye. It does look like tie-dye and I did not have that in mind at all when I was doing it. Sometimes you get these nice happy accidents, you know? So let me just stir up my ink a little bit and I'm going to put some blobs on here. And I'm using a small cut apart squeegee. Put my glasses. Whoop. Okay. And I'm just grabbing some of that ink and I'm pushing it through the holes in my stencil. Oops. And you want to make sure you don't go outside the edges of your stencil because you won't really be able to get this off once you get it on. This is such a cute stencil. I'd say if you're not a craft club member yet, you should get on board this month for this stencil. Um, do it for three months, see what you think. I think you're gonna love it. Um, it's a surprise every month. And if you hate it, which I don't know why that would be, but if you do, you can cancel after three months. I don't think you're gonna want it. And if you let your subscription accidentally lapse, or you had to leave for whatever reason, but you wanna come back, come on back. Um, I would love to have you back in the club. Okay, I've got it on. Now what I'm doing is just looking to see, is there anywhere that it doesn't look like the ink is all the way on there. And I'm not gonna go over and over and over, I just do wanna make sure that I fully have it covered. Okay, and now is the test. 
You can see what it looks like. It did go through a little bit, so I'm glad I put something underneath it. But I think I'm going to grab a paper towel to replace that. Let's do the peel and reveal, and my friend Melanie says the squeal. So, here we go! Oh my gosh. You guys, I love this blue and white combo. And this stencil is, pardon my French, freaking, not, not that bad at work. It is so cute! Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm throwing this in my little tub of water over here. And in case you haven't seen that before, let me just show you what that looks like. It's a credit tub of water. I put it in upside down so that the ink can be soaking in water and will come off easily when I am able to get up to the kitchen and wash it. And with ink, I always wash things promptly because I don't want it to get all dried in the holes of my stencil. You guys look how awesome that is. I don't want to mess it up, but is that not adorable or what? It is adorable. So, oh my gosh, I'm going to do about 10 more of these. Who wants to do that with me? You need blue ink and you need white ink. You need the craft club stencil. And then if you're interested in these flower sack tea towels, this would be better if you had a better quality tea towel too, but this is just what I have. Um, and you can get tea towels everywhere. But that's basically all you need. And then you can make this adorable project. And you can do all the other things too. Um, where did I put all those tea towels? You can make some tote bags. This was the tote bag that was my inspiration. Um, you can make some colorful tea towels using whatever colors of permanent fabric ink that you have. And I, I can get you a link to look at the inks. That rhymes, a link to look at the inks because they have a lot of great colors. Anyways, um, that's pretty much all there is to it now. I will let this dry thoroughly, probably at least three hours, if not longer. And then I will do the same thing with my iron and a piece of parchment paper. I'll do the front and the back. And then I will wash this, probably tomorrow, just so that I can show you. I'll wash the other ones too. I can show you how amazing it will stay. So let me know if you want a link for these. They were, um, it was like $16 or something for 12. And like I said at the start, they're thin. These are tea towels that are, um, they're real thin. They're meant, they're flower sack and they're wonky. They're not super great quality, but they're good tea towels to use in the kitchen. So let me know if you want that. Let me know if you want the link to Craft Club. If you're in Craft Club, Tell everybody who's reading the comments here what you think about Craft Club. Do you like it? Susie says she has tons of wonky tea towels she can do this with. Yeah. Susie, is this what you thought I was going to be doing? I'm curious. I did a picture this morning of this tea towel laying out in the yard drying. And I just put in the, in the description that my husband walked outside and said, What is that? What are you doing? He had no idea why I would have this laying in the grass, in the sunshine. Um, but anyways, so I posted a picture of that and a lot of people said, what is that? And other people said, I think I know what you're doing. So Susie, is that what you think it was going to be? If you have not joined Craft Club yet, you, got, you should join. And I tell you what, the earlier in the month you join, the earlier in the month, every month after, your little box of goodies will come. So don't wait till the last day. I mean, order Craft Club today or tomorrow or early next week as, as quick as you can so that you can get in the club and get your 
um, box early in the month. It's just based on a 30-day cycle of when they bill your card. So that's why if you ordered it on the 9th, you're gonna, it's going to ship around that time every month. I'm seeing lots of interesting things. Carolyn, I will get you the Craft Club info too. And I bet you, I'm going to try this same idea because I have like eight more of these. I'm going to try it with some different colors too. But if you just want to do this, get the berry blue ink also and the white ink. And I'll get you the link for the Amazon uh, tea towels. Alrighty, you guys, do it this. Or this. It's a heart. <laughs> Say something to me in the comments. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to sprinkle, you know, all that normal stuff. Must you wash your stencils in between each shirt you do? Well, if they're little stencils, you can get a, you can really scrape them off good and get away with moving them from one thing to the next. But with the bigger ones, it's just so easy to get a smudge from some leftover surface that's on them that I usually wash them in between each time. And it doesn't take long. As soon as you're done washing it, you can use this. This is called a tacky towel. It's meant for fuzzing your stencils. Um, I don't ever fuzz when I'm gonna be working on fabric because this is fabric. It makes no sense to fuzz on fabric and then use it on fabric. But this part right here, you can pat your stencils dry. So if you're in a hurry to move on to the next project, that's what you can do. And you can wash it, pat it dry, use it again. Rosie says she loves her craft club. She still has some kits to complete. Well, you need to do that this summer. Or Rosie, how about if you had a friend come over and you give your friend one of the craft clubs and you do the other and you guys have a fun craft night together or a sister or your mom or next door neighbor or something. That would be fun to do. And it would get you caught up. Anyways, and I see somebody did stars. Thank you so much. So now I am going to hop off. I will get pictures when everything's dry. And I am going to sit down outside because it's a beautiful day in Atlanta. And I'm going to get busy answering all of your questions, getting links out to you. So if you want craft club, inks, or tea towel, links let me know um yeah so that's what i'm going to do so i will read every single comment and i will get right back to you have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day and thanks for joining